everyone, it's Karen from the library. Today I'd like to show you an easy way to grow a plant from a seed. Here are a couple of plants in my home. As you can see, they're living things, and all living things need air, sunlight, and water to grow. Most plants have stems, leaves, roots, and flowers. As you look at these plants, you can see the stems, you can see the leaves, but you can't see the roots. The roots are under the soil and they grab nutrients and feed the plant. How do we grow plants such as these? Well, we start with a seed. And this morning, I was having a grapefruit and I thought, look at the seeds. So I counted out three seeds and put them aside. Now you notice that the seeds have a hard outer shell and when that cracks open, the seed will start to grow. What does a seed need to grow? Well, it needs warmth, it needs sunlight, and it needs water. So we're gonna take this glass here and this paper towel, and this is all we need to grow these seeds. We're gonna start by wetting the paper towel in some warm water. And just soak it, squeeze a little bit of it out, and then put it into the glass, pressing the paper towel around the sides. Okay, then you're gonna take your seeds and you're gonna put them inside the glass so you can see them on the edge of the glass when you look. Don't put them too close to the bottom because you wanna be able to see the roots start to grow. And this is all we need to do to grow these seeds. Have to make sure it's in a sunny window and make sure the paper towel doesn't dry out. Just add a little warm water to it when it does. Now, a few weeks ago, I tried doing this with grapefruit seeds and I had some success. As you can see, the seed, there were two of them, one of them grew. This one here didn't. So if you try this at home and it doesn't work, don't get discouraged. One of mine didn't work either. So as you can see, this little plant, this little seedling as we call it, you can see the paper towel is still attached there. It has the root. It has the shoot, and you see some new leaves starting to open up. So we wanna get this into a pot before too long or it won't grow. Here's the old part of the seed that cracked open. So we'll put that aside. So now you're gonna take a small pot, you're gonna add some dirt to the bottom of the pot that's about right. And then place your plant inside, but don't put those leaves underneath the soil because you want to leave the leaves above the soil, just like these plants here. A little bit more. It's okay if you make some mess. That's why I have the placemat. I'm pressing down the dirt a little bit. And there you have it, the grapefruit seed turned into a seedling and it's planted in this little clay pot. Now, do you remember what we need to keep this plant growing? We need air, water, and sunlight. So I'm gonna make sure I put this in a sunny window and water it a little every day, not too much. So why don't you give it a try? Try planting a seed I've used bean seeds before and they work. Um, or you could try an orange seed or a grapefruit seed. And do you ever see a grapefruit tree growing outside? If you said no, you're right. Massachusetts is too cold for grapefruit trees to grow. But it'll be fun to try to grow the grapefruit tree. And who knows, maybe someday I'll be living in a warmer climate and I can plant the tree there. So for now, I'd like to show you a couple of books that I have. This one is checked out from a library. It's called Seeds, 
Learn About Plants. You can check this out from Hoopla with your Danvers Library card. The other book is A Seed is the Start by Melissa Stewart. And this is available at the Danvers Library. So when we open up again, you could come and check this out to learn more about seeds. So good luck with your planting and we'll see you next time. Bye.